and welcome back to our channel. I am in the parking lot. I feel like I'm starting a lot of walk in the parking lot lately. I know we've talked to you guys before about how Abby's tracking her ovulation now because we are planning on starting our new baby number two journey, but we have to be tracking ovulation before we can get there. And ever since Abby had Harper for some reason, when she ovulates, she gets like cramping. And she says that even like her ovulation cramps can sometimes hurt worse than her period cramps, which is kind of random. I don't know if that's like a red flag or not. Hopefully it's not. But she is, I believe, ovulating today. She said she's feeling those ovulation cramps. I don't know if she's taken her test yet today. I'll have to ask her when I get home. But I thought it would be a fun idea to get her some stuff, prize her with it, a little care basket, if you will, an ovulating care basket. Let's go. Julia just came home with pretty flowers and my favorite sushi. Harper's gonna steal this from me oh, and babe, <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, Harper's definitely gonna steal this from me because he loves the crab out of here. These flowers are so pretty. I gotta put them in a vase. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. I'm sick today, so I'm not gonna show myself, but. Good morning. I thought that I was peaking yesterday for my ovulation. This is what it looked like yesterday, but I actually have some cramping today. So I feel like it might be a little darker because it's like, it's dark, like I feel like it's peak, but sometimes it like goes really dark the day before and then you actually have like the peak the next day. So I'm gonna quick test and see. Wow, you're strong. Yeah. I don't know why immediately I start doing this and the dog is here, Harper's here, Julia's here. Most of the dog, Dean literally will show up out of nowhere and I'm like, what are you doing? And I'll be tripping over her. Okay, I'm going to let this develop and we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. So far, I can already tell that that's going to be a really dark line, so I bet you my peak is actually gonna be today. If you're wondering why Harbor has wow. lipstick on today, this Very was him good. while, he did, while like I did my makeup. I got a little distracted and didn't realize what he was opening, but he looks fabulous. But besides that, my ovulation has actually been looking so good. It's like getting to where it was like before I got pregnant the first time and it just, it's looking really, really good. So I feel like everything's starting to come together. I feel like we could probably start ordering our vials soon, which is really, really exciting and scary and exciting and scary and exciting and scary because it just feels surreal because we've literally had these vials in storage for like three years now, which is bonkers. You guys always ask how we picked a donor, how we're keeping our vials ready. And I know we talked about this a little bit before, but for Harbor's donor, we did use Fairfax Cairo Bank for the sperm. And we are so happy that we used them because it was like literally the best experience. And I, we would not want to go through anyone we else. We had so much help. We had questions answered. Fairfax Cairo Bank has been a trusted source for donor sperm. They've been helping families around the world to make their dreams a reality ever since 1986. It was obviously really important to us to find a sperm bank that was LGBTQ plus friendly, which they are. It's been amazing. Another thing that's really good about them is they have really good donor screening. Mm -hmm. so, so actually only about 1% of the people who apply to the program get in and be, can become a donor, which is really good because something that I think made me nervous when we were looking into getting yeah. a donor was like, how do we know that like mm -hmm. they're gonna be actually good? And it's hard to do like the vetting process yourself. So it's good to be able to place your trust in a company. They have the most helpful client services. Like I'm not even joking. You can just call at any time and your question will be answered, which I feel like is not for most places. I have the hardest time finding people that will actually answer your questions. Yeah. And they have like seminars that can help you. You can call and ask questions. It's literally amazing. We've talked to them many times many about many times. different things. Yeah. They've been very helpful. You guys can save 100 $149. You can use our promo code to get full unlimited access, which is how you can see everything. And this is how we ended up picking our donor. With our promo code, you'll be able to download and view all of the donor products. And our code is EnzymeFam2024. Head over to Fairfax Cairo Bank's donor search today. And if you are looking, you never know, you may be able to find the perfect donor match for your family. They have hundreds of diverse options, so don't forget to check them out. And thank you, thank you, thank you to Fairfax Cairo Bank for sponsoring today's video. We want to go outside. Yeah. Feeling upset? Come here. Oh. That is 100% a peak. So I was right. I feel like today is definitely going to be darker. I'm going to have Julia check on like the app thing that tells you exactly where your LH is at. But I can tell you right now, it's going to be high. Do you want dino or waffles? Which one? Dinos or waffles? You don't like either of them? What about dinosaurs? Do you want to just try it? I'll put it on your plate and then if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. Does that sound good? The 
hot, so I'm gonna blow on it for you, okay? I got this beautiful girl making me chicken salad. Chicken salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I love you. What? What kind of chicken salad? I guess surprise me. <laughs> so I did my fertility test for Abby's. I, I'm not talking my fertility, you know what I mean? It, it just, this one, let me show you how it works. This little fertility checker, you just like, it's like a pee stick, but you just put it into this little thing on your phone and it tells you more exact numbers. So you can really see the little graph and it tells you all kinds of different hormones, oops. Anyway, so yeah, this is today. The purple one is the LH, which is usually, I think, mostly used to track ovulation. So it says two days ago she peaked and then she went down like barely a little bit and then she went up again. Her estrogen went really high for some reason. Anyway, either way, today is definitely the peakest of peaks. Is ever a time for us to get pregnant? For me to knock you up? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Fairfax can though. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I wish I could. I know. Maybe if we just keep trying. <laughs> That's a little too much in there. got the new chair delivered. Frank is gonna have to move because it's gonna go right here. I'm so sorry, Frank. Your sunbathing time is gonna have to be over even though you look so handsome. So handsome guy. We had a chair that we bought that was supposed to match this one. It didn't end up matching. It was like the same style of chair, same type of like fabric, but sorry, I'm out of breath. So if I sound like I'm breathing really hard, it's because I'm out of breath. <laughs> same legs and stuff like that, but it was like much more yellow than this one. I'll try and find a picture and I'll upload it. It is going to go in this spot here with this ottoman. And then we also got this pot. This is going to go like beside over here, but got this new pot for the plant over here. So Julia and Harper are outside setting it up. So oh, here Harper comes with one piece. <laughs> Ooh, look, it matches finally. Oh, Go put him in his bed. 